I'm attorney Justin Clark. Coming up just ahead on You Have Real Estate, I have outstanding properties on the market that are actually affordable to show you also. The water here is terrible. Carter Water is giving you a free water filtration system. It's all just ahead that you have real estate. If you've been threatened by the IRS, you're not helpless. I'm attorney Justin Clark. You have the power to fight wage garnishments and to fight levies on your account. Call me now for a free consultation or visit youhavepower.com and take back control of your life. This is a special offer from IQ Power Solar. Stop paying high electric bills with a solar power system from IQ Power Solar. And now it's never been easier. IQ Power Solar can give you immediate electric bill relief right now when you go solar. IQ Power Solar will reimburse you for your very next electric bill. Plus, if you're a first responder, IQ Power Solar will pay your program payment for the rest of the year. Call 407-585-1018 now or visit IQPowerSolar.com. And welcome to You Have Real Estate with me, attorney Justin Clark. Whether you're a first time home buyer, seasoned investor, renter, or even looking to sell your house, this next 30 minutes is designed just for you. Think of it like hitting multiple open houses from your couch, but with my attorney advice throughout the way. If you have any questions during the show, people are standing by to answer them. Here's the phone number. I'll leave it on the screen during the entire program 407 205 04 Zero, zero. If you want to start your house hunt, find your dream home this week and you will need a pre-approval letter in this very competitive market. Dallas Lehman also standing by at that very same phone number. Awesome show today. You will not want to miss a single minute, but first, the opening statement. The opening statement today is brought to you by my good buddy, Stephen Bader with IQ Power Solar. As you know, I went solar last year, saved $10,000 in taxes and I'm saving $300 a month on my electricity bill every single month. Steve, how do we do it? This new program offers you a 40-year transferable warranty on the product, their performance, the workmanship, the labor. That is the best warranty that's ever been flirted with in this sector, ever, hands down, right? We're giving you a production guarantee. If we promise it's gonna produce something and it produces less, we'll cut you a check for the difference. We're giving you a home value increase guarantee. If we tell you that it's going to increase your home value $23,000 and the appraiser is stuck at 20, we cut you a check for the difference, okay? Trade-in program. In 10 years, if you want a cool new system or you want to add stuff up, you have loyalty credits to where you have 50% of your system. If you spent 40 grand, you have $20,000 to trade in and trade up, okay? If, if, you have, if you move, if you sell the house, the credits stay with the homeowner, not the home. So if you don't trade up, you sell the house and you move to a new home, you have those credits to go to a, a new system on a new home, right? And if you move into a house that's not qualified for solar, you can then get cash back instead of a trade up. So we, we, we spent four years developing this program. Customer loyalties for add-ons. You wanna add a battery later. You wanna add a new water heater. You just got a pool, you wanna add solar pool heat. You can literally do this with no cost if you're in our customer loyalty program. And most importantly, if you spent $35,000 today and you go through our program, on the 15th year, if, if you haven't used any credits or anything like that, we will cut you a check for the entire cost of your system. Unbelievable. And already what I've thought this whole time, no-brainer, is a double no-brainer, I guess, at this point. It's never been done. It's, we've been working on this for four years, sophisticating the execution of this program. It's, it's time. It's an interrupter. I can't think of a better time than now to save money, save the environment, and you can do so at 407-205-0400. Okay, so I'm talking more to you renters right now, and I know what's going through your head. And, and by the way, when I first had kids, Pilar made me move from the condo I owned downtown to the suburbs. I said no at first, of course, and she won, so I had to move to the suburbs, which I did. But I rented for the first six years living in the suburbs. And, and quite honestly, the house that I own now I just got lucky to get. I was actually trying to get my brother to buy it. He backed out at the last minute. I bought it. Best decision I think that I've ever made. And here's what's going through your head right now as a renter. Number one, you're thinking, well, you know, it's very hard to qualify for a mortgage. It's really not. I mean, it's not as easy as 2006, no. But it's nowhere near as hard to qualify for a mortgage now as it was in 2010. It's very likely if you have a job 
you can qualify for a mortgage. Here's the thing I'm hearing most now though. Number two, house prices are way up. Why would I pay so much for a house? And quite honestly, I think that's a horrible reason to not buy a house right now. And let me tell you why. Mortgage rates, all time historic low still. They're going to go up. Trust me, they're going to go up. The rates are going to go up. Now is a great time to buy. And yes, I understand house prices have gone way up over the last year, but look at it compared to 2006. The house prices now just a little bit more than 2006 when they were super inflated then, right? Now we're 15 years later and they're still almost 2006 prices. I think the house prices right now are where they should be. I don't see them skyrocketing over the next year, but I think the house prices right now are where they should be. Then compare it to Connecticut or New York or California, our house prices here, despite being up over the last year in Florida, the house prices right now are very good if you look at it on a national level. If you look at the median house prices here in Florida, on a national level, our house prices are still quite low. If you're renting, I think you gotta buy. I understand, well, that it's not gonna go up over the next year, I get all of that. It is a dumb decision right now, in my opinion, to keep renting I think you have to buy now. And I'm gonna tell you why and answer those questions by asking real questions. Every Saturday here on You Have Real Estate, we ask real questions to the truly trend-setting people in Central Florida's real estate community. Today, I'm very happy to be joined by our good friend, Carter Burks, Carter Water. Carter, how are you, sir? Doing great, Justin, thanks Re for having me. Return visitor, of course, Jennifer Allum. Jen, how are you? Fantastic. You always say you're nervous, but you always, always. do so good when I have you on the show, and I can never <laughs> figure out why you were nervous about it. How are you feeling now? You're great. good? Great, hey, what, awesome. what is going on out there? So I was saying 2006, <clears throat> the values were absolutely ridiculous. I think they were o overinflated. We're, we're at 2006 prices plus a little bit right now, I don't see them as that inflated, honestly, if you look at it on a national level. I mean, it's been a long time, and plus, I mean, the good part about it is the interest rates right now are still so low, so. What do you see happening over the next year? Are, are these values gonna continue to skyrocket? Do you think it's gonna level off? Are we gonna have a crash? What do you think's gonna happen? I don't think we're gonna have a crash, but I think that because there's so many people moving into Florida right now, I mean, I've sold houses from uh, to people from Chicago, New York, New Jersey, California, and the demand. There's such a demand for homes here. That's why the values have gone up so much. I totally agree. What is going on competitive-wise? So if I'm out there looking to buy a house, is it still one of these deals where uh, they're getting 25 offers, 20 offers, oh, yeah. day of? It's I mean, I've had some agents tell me, I mean, the second I put anything on the market, it's we have multiple offers in one day and really? it's sold the next day. I had one agent tell me they had 75 offers in one day on a house. Wow. 75? 75. It's yeah. got to be some kind of record or something, right? It's crazy. 75 offers it's crazy. in one day. And people are waiving the appraisals. They're, awa they're waiving Jeez. inspections. Um, it's, it's a lot. Something that's come up on the show a lot recently is, and we used to talk about it even last year, and people would say, well, you know, the realtor said my house is worth 400. I want to list it at 500. I say, don't. That's a dumb move. Right. Listen to what your realtor or your real For estate sure. agent says. For sure. But now... I'm getting 75 offers on a house. Yeah. How do I even know what to list my house for? I mean, still go with comps. I mean, because the, the thing is, is that because you're getting into multiple offer situations, it's selling for 10, 20, 30,000 over. So it's good to keep it right around where the comps are. Really? Yeah. I might disagree. And, and the real I mean, estate community loves us and we're very big supporters of the real estate community on the show, you know, but. I'm telling you, I, I always say go with your realtor, but in this market, yeah. and Vivian behind me is like looking at me too, and you're yelling at me, I get it. <laughs> in this market, don't be afraid to list it a little bit higher than even your agent says, because it is, it's wild. Yeah, it's it wild is. out it's there wild. what's going on. It is, because there's hardly any inventory right now. So when something does come on the market, it's, I mean, people are desperate. Yeah. So. You Carter. can lift it. You can lift it for a little bit more than that. But. <laughs> don't don't tell them I told you. Say someone else told you that. But <laughs> Carter, let me get to you because a lot of people are looking at, at buying a new house now, or maybe you you know what you're like. Well, I don't want to sell my house now because I can't go buy anything else. And what do I want to do to upgrade my house right now? What can I do to increase the value of my house? What can I do to make my house a happier place for my family? You own a great company called Carter Water. I'm shocked sometimes at, first of all, the, the quality of water in Florida, uh, terrible. Um, I think it's the second worst in the country is what you've told me. Right. And, and second, that, that people have 
the, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, intestinal fortitude, if you will, to go to Publix and buy these big jugs and, and lug them to their house and pull their back out, or they go to Publix and buy these huge uh, buckets of water bottles mm -hmm. at an expensive price when that's not something you have to do if of you call not. Carter Water. Tell me about Carter Water. What do you guys do? We come to your home and we test your water to see what's in the water and we give you an option for it. You know, we will we'll put something on your main water line that goes into you know, your house and treat all the water in your home. And the problem with bottled water, it's not regulated by the FDA. <laughs> yeah. Who knows what's in it? Uh, I've gone to like Publix or any other grocery store out there. You'll see the cases of water just sitting out there on the concrete right. in the sunlight. And for this, days. For days, and the sun's just baking at it. That's bacteria growth right there. So uh, it's safer for you and your family and to invest in a water treatment system for your home. So a lot of people will say, well, you know, I don't have a water treatment at my house, but I do have a very fancy refrigerator that I go to and I take my cup. I don't spend money on water bottles. I've got a fancy refrigerator and I just put my cup right there and mm, oh, the yeah. water comes out. How yeah. safe is that water? I call that Band-Aid water. Is that right? Yeah. I mean, it's uh, the carbon in those filters are very low end. And if you really want those to work, any, you're going to have to change those out like every two months, mm -hmm. three months at most because of the water quality that's going into them. It just isn't a good option. Compare prices of a family who buys nothing but water bottles, and then that's what they drink. They won't drink tap water. They buy water bottles every month. Mm -hmm. At the cost of that versus the cost of a system from Carter Water. It is cheaper to have a Carter Water system in your home. It truly is. And it's better for the world, too. I mean, you're not throwing bottles of water, an empty bottle into the exactly. landfill. It yeah. takes like a thousand years for one of those to break down, you know? It's kind of a no-brainer if you think about it. I don't even know who convinced us that bottles of water were, were the great way to go. It, you know, it used to be, what, 89 cents? Now it's like two bucks for a bottle of water. It's all marketing. You, you know? throw it away, bad for the environment. When you could live in a house, you could upgrade your house right now, very inexpensively, by the way, and have excellent water in your house. And this is not just for drinking, Carter. Sometimes the water in Florida can be so bad that sitting in a bathtub or even taking a shower can have a bit of a negative effect on you. Tell me about that. One 20 minute shower, you're gonna soak up about eight glasses of water. Eight glasses? Eight glasses? When you're taking a 20 minute shower. Really? Skin absorption, you don't only get it when you drink it, it goes right through the pores of your skin. Yeah. Skin's your largest organ, so it's gonna soak it up. That's right. And so if I get a system with Carter Water, it's, it's filtering all of the water in my house, not just the drinking water. All of it. I mean, How long does that take? Let's say I call you right now. How does that process really work? Are you going to come out and, and see what I have? Give me a quote. How does that process from phone call to you to actually getting water, good water in my house? Yeah, absolutely. You call the show, I'll call you back yeah. very quickly. And uh, we'll just ask you a few questions and we'll schedule a time to come out and test your water. No charge, no pressure. I mean, it's that simple. I was shocked in our extensive pre-show interview that we did. Uh, <laughs> you said, look, Justin, I, I love you. I love the show. I want to offer your viewers something special. And, and I, I didn't ask you to do this. I, I'm very appreciative, and I, and I know you are appreciative of this. You said that the first 10 calls that come in today, you're going to give us what? For the first 10 calls that come in, you do have to be a homeowner okay. because I need that permission to come out to your property. We're going to give you a, a free drinking water system. Wow. No charge free. to you. Free. No strings attached. Genuine very, number. Yes. Very passionate about water, and I'm very passionate about Central Florida, and that's a way that I want to give back. 407, two, and this is for Pilar, by the way, 407-205-0400. Pilar, uh, call the show now. Don't use my name. Don't use your name either. What, what should I use, you think? Uh, use uh, Jen. Just say Jen, and we get a free drinking system, drinking water system at our house. It's a pretty good deal. Yeah, absolutely. Did you have any idea, Jen, how bad the water quality was in the state? I had no idea. And you, gotta, you admit, if you, if you go to other states and then you come, if you go for a week or two, come back here, there's a, a, a distinct different smell and oh, like yeah. a feeling about the water here. I mean, I didn't know if the water here was great or horrible. I knew it was one of the two. I knew it wasn't right in the middle because there's something different about the water in Florida. Yeah. You know? It's at the bottom. I mean, it really is. And the water lines are so shallow here. Yeah. That's why the water is so warm as it comes out of your faucet. Like, I'm from Kentucky originally. You turn the water on up there, it's cold. Right. Because it's like four feet in the ground. Yeah. You know, that's another reason. Give Carter a call right now. 407-205-0400. First 10 people, free water system. I mean, that, that's a drinking water system, drinking I should water say. Drinking water system, yeah. Pretty amazing. 
Speaking of amazing, Jen, you brought a couple of listings with you today. I did. I'd like to check them out. And look, everyone likes me to shut up and, and see properties and see what the cost <laughs> of homes are out there. So, so let's do that now. Jen, let's start on Lagoon Avenue. Where is yes, this? Yes, that is in Deltona. Um, it's been completely redone inside, modern, gorgeous. Um, has a brand new roof that was put on a year ago. Um, new HVAC system put in like a month ago. Um, it's four bedrooms, two baths, and it was built in 1995. Um, it has a fireplace in the little living room in the front. Um, the back is completely fenced in. Um, there's no HOA. Um, and Sweet. it's, yeah, 1,400 oh, square feet. Yeah. <laughs> and we're asking 60, uh, 2699 for that. It is hard to find a single family home updated like that okay. for 269000 mm -hmm. right now. I mean, that in this market, I think, is a fantastic yeah. deal. And then you look at the payment on 269 at a 2.8% interest rate, you're at uh, 1200 maybe? I mean, you can't go rent the one bed. Dallas is back there. What do you think, Dallas? You don't want to commit. Absolutely. About 1200 bucks. 1200 P-I-T-I, whereas if you go rent a one-bedroom apartment right now, it's 1300 Exactly. And yeah. you can own this house, and that is nice and updated. I mean, that is a, someone spent some money updating that thing, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Huge closet. I could use that closet. Huge closet. <laughs> Why don't I have a closet like that? I might buy that one. <laughs> can you show it to me this weekend? Sure, absolutely. Awesome. <laughs> uh, that is Lagoon Avenue up in uh, southwest Volusia County, we'll say, and Jen can show it to you right now. I won't buy it, I promise. Uh, you got to give her a call though, 407 205 0400. So, there's this little secret term in the real estate world. They call it a pocket listing. What that means in layman's terms is the realtor's about to list it, but you know, she or he will, will show it to you kind of off the record before it hits the market. You brought a pocket listing for us today. I did. Tell me about it. Okay, so this one is on Sylvan Lake in Sanford. Um, it's on a ski lake, which is great. Um, I actually used to live in the neighborhood on the other side of the lake. Um, this one is also no HOA, which is awesome. Oh, wow. Wow. Um, it was built in 2014. It has the full dock with the lift. Um, it's four bedrooms, three and a half baths, uh, 3,258 square feet. It has a three car garage, but it's a tandem. So it's actually two, but yeah. it's the tandem. Um, and it does also have a That's a pool. beautiful, beautiful lake. Yes, it is. It's beautiful. And there's a dock there? Did I see a there, dock? There's, oh, yeah, wow. they've, they've got the dock. They've got um, that and the lift for the boat. Why don't you buy that one? Then we go hang out. Yeah, <laughs> you exactly. would actually come over if I got that one? <laughs> I got you. That's a nice house. Mm -hmm. uh, if you like, see, I'm sorry, we're not saying price on that? No, they, no. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, look, she'll give you a good deal. I, I assure you. <laughs> but you got to call 407 205 04 Zero, zero. Jennifer Allen, you know I love you. I love, love your too. family. Thank you. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for me. Uh, and if you want to awesome. call her, or even if you're looking to sell your house, you want to see what the value is, or if you're going to buy a house, she's a great agent to work with. I okay. assure you that. Okay. Let's do this. Let's take a quick break. Vivian Lehman is going to join us as well with a couple of other properties that are on the market right now. I want to give you a, a real taste of, of what it costs to get in a house in this market, and we'll do so after that quick break. Thanks, Justin. I'm here every week to answer your calls, questions, and provide your free pre-approvals. I really enjoy helping people celebrate refinancing to a historic low rate or purchasing their dream home. Now for me, this is my 2.875% 30-year smile from my own home purchase this month because I like to practice what I preach. I also like to share great news. Call me today and let's get you your best loan scenario while these historic low rates last. It only makes sense to get started now. Your Under One Roof team is always here to help you. Welcome back. Vivian Lehman joins us now. Vivian Carter Burks, Carter Water, you guys met before. Yes, uh, you just bought a house. I know you did. Yes. And, and I didn't tell you where Dallas is. I drove by the other day because uh -huh. I was trying I was trying to see where you are because we're uh -huh. in the same neighborhood now. Um, and I saw Dallas's car. So I almost knocked on the door, but then I felt uncomfortable, so I didn't. But I, I do know where you live now exactly. Uh oh. But you just bought a house. Yes. And, and your house does not have a water filtration system. It does not. And, and I think it's, no offense, I think it's crazy to not have one, especially living in this state. Mm -hmm. Carter Burks, Carter Water, why should she get a water filtration system in her brand new house? Brand new to her. Brand new to you. Brand Yeah, it's going to protect your home. I mean, you don't want all that scale build up throughout the house. Your hair is going to get dry. Mm -hmm. Your skin's going to get itchy. All the things that Florida water does. And having a Puronic system will 
reverse all that. Yeah, we actually, in our previous home, we had a water system, but it was not like this. Yeah. It was a water softener, and then we had a separate reverse osmosis for drinking water, and that was off the tap, you know, in our sink. And so what we, we were talking about this earlier, I would still see mold or, or something build up at the faucets. Ugh. And I was like, why is that happening? You know, I just thought, well, you know, we clean it more often. But he said, no, even with a water softener, you still have that issue. So I said, okay, you're coming over, <laughs> you're coming over our house next. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah. and that is true. I mean, if you look at these, the actual faucets, I mean, that it can be a little disgusting. What mm -hmm. is that in there? Some, uh, I think it's from parts unknown. Yeah. <laughs> but it, a lot of times what, what will happen with just a conventional water softener, mm -hmm. Here in Florida, you can get bacteria growth in there. I've taken apart many systems. I'm not saying if, you have, if you're watching this, you have a water soft, you have bacteria in your water, but I've taken apart many a system where you can see it in there, and it can well come out into your faucets like that. Um, and then uh, other items, if you don't have a system, it, you just get mold growing in places like that. It's moist, it's wet. Yeah, no, <laughs> Let's say I'm just a normal dude and I have nothing at my house. I don't have a softener, I don't have a filtration system. And I just, I go play basketball and I come home, I'm thirsty. Uh, I get the ice in a cup and just open the faucet up, drink it. What's in that water? Hmm. If you go to ewg.org and put in your zip code, yeah. and you will find out exactly what's in that water. Really? That's a database. That's all that they do is research uh, tap water across America. The, uh, the EPA has not updated their standards in 20 to 30 years. So if you go there, you'll know exactly what's in that water. But you're going to be loaded with calcium, magnesium, chlorine, fluorides, and byproducts of chlorine, on and on and on and on. I always hear about the our water in Florida is different because it's in like underground. I don't know what. Where does the water here come from? I always hear that it's connected to these lakes or springs or something. Where does the water actually come from here? Well, it comes from the Florida aquifer. Yeah, that's the word I was thinking. Yeah, of. Uh, I would have never come up with it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you have to understand everything we do up here will eventually get down there. Mm -hmm. And like we say on our radio show, it's not getting any cleaner down there. It's just getting worse and worse. Have you ever driven by, Vivian, one of these um, uh, water plants or whatever, sanitation, what are they called? Are they clean? Water plants. Water plants. Water plant. Have you ever smelled the smell? Oh. And I mean, literally this is people flushing their toilet, no offense, it's people flushing their toilets it goes in like this big pond thing. And it sanitizes it. And then they like, <laughs> like a sewage station. Yeah. 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 And then that uh, ends up in my, my house, right? Really? I mean, that that's, that's. In the ground. It's going eventually, in the ground. Yeah. That's here. I mean, at some point, yeah. the, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I think it seems like a horrible <laughs> idea to me. You know, 30, 40 years ago, when you thought about water treatment, you thought, well, you, know, you got to be rich to have something like that, mm -hmm. but not anymore. Yeah. It's a necessity, and it doesn't cost a million dollars. It's very affordable. I, yeah. I'm convinced that uh, half of these water bottles that we buy at even the nice grocery stores is like, coming from some elderly couple in Pittsburgh sitting in their bathtub, just like <laughs> filling them up, and then they're selling them to you for two or three bucks. That's what I think. It just, to me, it's a no brainer. You need to call. Carter water, it's free consultation, and then the first ten people today, a free uh, water filtration system. Drink, will, drinking water system. Calling. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and when Jen calls, that's uh, <laughs> that'll be that'll be me. You know, uh, call them right now. Four zero seven two zero five zero four zero zero. Vivian, you brought a couple of very different properties today, yes, I would say. I and, and let's go to a Popka. And I love a Popka. Actually, a Popka is mm -hmm. sort of an up and coming area. One of my favorite breweries really in the world, uh, Three Odd Guys is there. It's just, a, it's a really up and coming place. I would check out 3OG if I were you too. Uh, West Kelly Park Road, where is this? This is actually right off of 429. I mean, you can see the sign, mm -hmm. 429. It's, it's far enough away where you're not listening to yeah. the noise off the highway, but it's close enough where, and it's five acres of beautiful land it's they're asking 1.9 for it it's zone agricultural right now but they're thinking that it might go commercial you could go either way it has 197 feet of frontage but then it goes way back so who buys this it could be a developer. I mean, we're, we're thinking it's going to go the commercial route. Mm -hmm. It could be somebody like a Publix. I, I heard Publix is, uh, you know, right building, yeah. you know, they're going to do a two-story, I guess. So 
Yeah, see the sign? <laughs> I got you. So this so, is not someone who wants to put up a barn and have some horses there. This is probably a, there an are, investor. There are some residential spots yeah. right around. So it's it's a mixed use, that whole area. If you were to buy this and, and then you, you split it up and, and develop it, I mean, there's probably some dough to be made there if you if you really you, you cut that up into a bunch of different properties. Absolutely. Huh? 1.9 yeah. million, it seems like a lot, but it's a, it is a big property mm -hmm. on sort of a major thoroughfare right there. Oh yeah, accessible to everything. Awesome, and now we got South Glancy. Where is this? So South Glancy is in Deltona. This home um, is just coming on the market. It's one of those pocket listings too. And it, you really can't find anything under 300 right now. Like we talked about values, everything, mm -hmm. the average home is about 320,000. This one's gonna be 295, it's 1930 square feet. It's a three bedroom, two baths, and also very close access to I-4. And about a $1,400 PITI payment to own your own house. What do you want? You want a two bedroom apartment in the suburbs? You want to own your own house. And Glancy is perfect for someone who is renting right now. Maybe young kids and, and you want to, to invest in their future and your own future. I think buying a house is the way to go. And I think that's a, a great... I didn't want to call it a starter home. I mean, it's a great kind of young family home, I would say. It's a great area, too. Good schools. And if you'd like to see yeah. that house or any other properties, Vivian Lehman will show them to you right now. 407-205-0400. You know, I love having you on, Carter, because I think it's it's one of those things where, yes, it's it's your business, but I think it's an important issue as well. You know, it, it's important when, when your business is actually an important, really societal issue. It's It's the environment. Uh, we're not throwing away all of these water bottles that are just sitting in the ocean, I guess, for the next hundred years. But it's important for your 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 health and your family's health as well. Absolutely, and, save the turtles. And and very nice of you to to give away these free water filtration systems. But you have to call the phone number four zero seven two zero five zero four zero zero. Jennifer Allen, thank you for joining us today. Uh, Vivian, as always, great job. Thank you, thank you. What do you think is going to happen over the next six months? Up or down? I think values are going to not rise as fast as yeah. they have been. I don't think we're going to tank, yeah, but maybe so. it, it'll be good. Most importantly, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for joining us every Saturday here on the TV show. We very much appreciate it. Dallas Lehman is there to pre-approve you. If you want to start the house hunt right now, the phone number is on the screen. I had a good time today. I hope you did. I'll see you next week for You Have Real Estate. Just in case you haven't heard lately, mortgage rates are at historic lows. In my entire career, I have never seen them dip this low. Now may be your best time to own your dream home and stop throwing your hard-earned money away on rent, refinance to a lower rate to save money on your monthly mortgage payment, or pay off high-interest credit card and other debt. My name is Dallas Lehman, president of You Have Mortgage. No one knows when rates will begin to climb again, but they will and can go back up quickly. Call me today so we can tailor your historic rate and program. Our premier under one roof team is here to provide our very best for you. Do you want to feature your home for free on our show? My name is Vivian Lehman with You Have Realty, and we've come up with a comprehensive marketing strategy to get your home sold quickly. Whether buying or selling, we have all the resources for your real estate transaction, builder, insurance, title, mortgage, and we might even know Justin Clark all under one roof. Call us at 407-205-0400.